All right, I'd like to thank you all for being here and being willing to answer some of our questions as we're trying to educate the community on what we're doing here at North. I would remind you to enunciate as much as you can, given the masks, okay? We'll do the best we can. Uh, thank you for having your cameras on. Uh, one other thing I wanted to remind you of is feel free to jump in if there is an, something you want to say that's in addition to somebody else. But because we are in the same room, just raise your hand so we can indicate and we can mute and unmute so we don't get feedback, which is gonna be really important. All right, uh, if we will just take a second and tell us a little bit about uh, who you are, what grade you're in, and maybe some of the things that interest you. So SIO, if you'll just tell us a little bit about yourself and then we'll move around the room. My name is Esau Bonilla. I'm a junior at John W. North High School. And a few things that interest me are sports and computer science. Oh, um, my name is Samantha. And um, I now am involved in all the student leadership programs on North campus. And I'm just really I'm interested in technology and all of that. My name is Kat. Um, I'm a senior at John W. North High School. And a few things that interest me are statistics, math, and the environment. My name is Isaiah Carter, and I'm part of the graduating class of 2021. And I, I am a senior at North High School. And a few things that I'm interested in is leadership. I'm part of the leadership uh, group here called Renaissance, and I am interested in the movement of the body. All right, so our first question is, what kind of academic knowledge have you gained this year in your program? And how has that knowledge connected to the career content that you've learned? Uh, SIO. Uh, so some kind of academic knowledge I have gained this year in the program is different way that sciences interact with one another and how it really is connected and that there are many, many opportunities throughout the, throughout environmental science. If I may, um, another, another uh, part of the academic knowledge that I think that I gained that was really important to me was um, a lot about environment environmental sustainability. So um, basically things that harm the environment and what we can do or what actions we could take to um, sustain uh, the ecosystems. Explain some of the hands-on technical mastery and know-how you engaged in with your CP program. Um, so we do a lot, and I've learned so much so far, but most recently we've been doing an air project where we basically test the air and the air quality, and so we know, we know like what we're breathing and everything that's involved and all the components. And so that was just really interesting because we were able to go around campus and then in our own homes and, um, and basically research everything that's going on around us. And that's something that I've never got the opportunity to do before. So that was just really interesting. And I had a lot of fun. All right, thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to add to that question? Any other comments? Okay, we're gonna move on to number three. What are some non-tangible or professional skills you've developed alongside the technical and academic content? Kat. So some of the non-tangible skills I learned, the two main ones for me are um, just about teamwork and communication because we had two um, projects we had to do mostly online, which it was either fully online or it was with the hybrid schedule. So we're only with, I was only able to be with at least one team member and I had to work with the other two that were online. And I had to really learn how to communicate really well with these people, obviously, because I'm not seeing them every day. So I can't really tell them in person, like, hey, I need you to work on this. And some of them, obviously had other obligations so that got in the way so it was just about like not getting upset with them and just being like okay well when's, when are you available so we can make this work all right i think this is a really important question uh 
So I would like all of you to kind of answer what professional skills do you think you've gained? Uh, Isaiah, would you tell us a little bit? Yeah, I'll start off. So some of the skills that I feel like I've gained and that I have to offer for potential employers is definitely having a creative and open-minded uh, mindset, being able to um, face um, adversity and work through it together with especially a team since a lot of the projects in this class were team oriented. I feel like being able to just uh, communicate and uh, work together with your team, holding every single team member accountable for their for their own work is definitely a part of leadership and something that potential employers would definitely look for in someone. And that sets me apart from other peers. I agree with Isaiah where he said, since many jobs are mostly team oriented, unless you're in like a, a profession that only requires yourself to do, uh, most jobs require team and communication and trusting one another to see if the other person can get the stuff done. So communication is really an important thing that you can offer to any employer because it's the number one thing you need in any job. Yeah, and I completely agree with what they're saying. Like, I was able to talk with so many new people, and I've met a lot of people in this class. So it was just a really good opportunity for me to, like, get out there and be able to, like, kind of, like, public speaking. Like, I've been able to learn how to, like, be out there more and just talk to new people. All right, thank you for sharing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next question. What are the most important skills you offer to potential employers are looking for when hiring someone like you? Isaiah? So I think the most important skill that I picked up uh, that potential employers would look for in me are definitely that leadership um, because a lot of people, a lot of employers want someone who's willing to take the first step before anyone to um, just take the initiative and lead by example. And I believe that that is something that um, employers would look for when hiring. Um, so how has your experience in this program changed the way you think about the variety of career possibilities in the sustainability, environmental sustainability? market? Well, my experience in this program is, has enhanced what I see. Uh, before, I didn't think that there were water treatment plants uh, to to retreat water and to use it for various possibilities. So it has really enhanced what I think is possible to do, especially in the environmental sustainability category. It can You can basically find any type of job you want by using any major in the environmental sustainability. Thank you. Uh, Samantha, how has your experience in this program changed the way you think about the variety? Oh, <laughs> reading it again. Let's try number six. <laughs> how has this CT program prepared you to stand apart from your peers? So like I was saying before, it was just really hands-on and I was able to learn a lot um, about teamwork but like most importantly, I got a lot of new skills. Like I would be talking about it with my friends about the projects that we're doing and like about the air quality project and they would just be super shocked that we would be doing something like this in this class. And it was just, it just helped me learn a lot of valuable things. Thank you, Samantha. All right, what is the most memorable, and I'm gonna have everyone answer this. What is the most memorable or exciting experience you have for working in this program? We'll start with Kat and then we'll move around the room. Um, definitely the most memorable experience for me in this program was the first group project or a big group project we did, which was the forestry challenge. Um, it was really challenging and it, like, it pushed our team to really um, like use our resources and uh, see how we could work together to find a solution to a really difficult problem. But in the end, our presentation turned out really beautiful for, um, for us. So it was exciting for me just to see how we work together and like really stressed over it, but also really pulled through for the group. Now, I definitely have to agree with Kat. Uh, me being a, a member on her team, I definitely agree that the most memorable experience was the first group challenge because that's that was when I really met, had to work with new people who I never really worked with before. Um, but that 
you know, laid out like the rest of our uh, future group projects where I would work with the same group because I know that I could count on this specific group of people um, to pull through to do their part of the task. And I think it was most memorable and ex exciting for me because, uh, as Kat said before, it was really challenging. Um, but we definitely gave it all our effort and it, it's it's good to see like the fruits of our work pay off in the in the long run. I agree with with them because it was really challenging, especially since it was basically in one week, we would have to complete a presentation and four exams on not knowing most of the stuff we were doing. So it was really challenging, but I found it really memorable because many of my group members also were texting me, were like, hey, can we do this? Can we do that? So it was, it was really nice to see that everyone was trying to do the project together and was really trying to expand on it. Yeah, so I would have to say for me, my um, favorite experience was this air quality project because we basically got to put together all the air monitors and it was just, and connected to all the data to our computer. And it was just like super hands-on and I had never gotten that experience before. And I was able to work with new people and that was super fun because I had never talked to them in class before. And so now I feel like I have people I can turn to if I need help or something. And yeah. All right, thank you so much for those answers. So we're gonna go around one more time. Uh, just kind of share what your plans are post high school. Uh, again, if you're a junior, let us know that you have a few more years. I think, are you, are you a junior? Yeah, so we have three seniors and one junior. Oh, you're two juniors and two seniors. Excellent. So we'll start with Kat, just kind of give us your plans and then we'll move around the room. So in the fall, I plan to attend to um, UC Santa Barbara. I already um, committed, submitted my SIR and hopefully I'll get a housing contract sent to me. But I plan to study data science and I wanna apply that, apply that either in the environmental um, category or to the bio category because honestly population genetics really interests me. Just like seeing how genes and all that are distributed through the population and how that changes over time really fascinates me. So I might go that route. <laughs> Um, so for me, my plans after high school, um, definitely to work and save a little bit of money this summer, um, but I will be attending UCR in the fall. Um, I'm already committed to UCR and I will be studying educational science in hopes of maybe becoming some sort of uh, teacher or instructor, as well as with a side interest of being a coach for maybe a sports team or something as a personal sports lover myself. I am a junior, so I still have another year of high school. But if I was a senior, uh, I want to study uh, aer aeronautical engineering, which is uh, airplane technology or computer science. And uh, I just want to do that because I find it fascinating how much our world has changed and that it's really dependent on technology. Um, and for me, once I complete my junior year and go to senior year, I want to try to go to try to get into NYU so I can study art and psychology. I really wanna get into cognitive psychology after school. And it's basically just learning about how the mind processes thoughts and, and why people do what they do. All right, I'd like to thank each of you for your time today uh, and for sharing your experiences with this pathway. I know the pathway is still new and we're developing and we're excited to have you come back and share with us your journey and we can share with you our journey as this pathway grows and develops. So thank you again for your time and you can go ahead and log off now.